Hi everybody, thought I'd do another story time for Wednesday. Sorry I keep missing crime pod things, it's just that I'm finding it hard to find things to read. Um, because of my fibromyalgia, I find it really hard to research things and put things in order. So I like to read other people's works uh, and I haven't found anything that I, really that I wanted to read, plus I was wasn't too well for a few days but anyway so I thought I'd do a story time for tonight and back in the day I used to work at the Waldorf Hotel in London and I was a restaurant and palm court cashier and 90% of the time I used to spend it in the still room on the till no one ever saw you I used to just ring up all the bills for the restaurant and for the palm court anyway we used to do a system where you'd do a late and then an early because the late for the restaurant sometimes you could be sat there till two o'clock in the morning waiting for people to actually leave and because it was one of those posh places like the waiters couldn't go up and say look we want to go home piss off type thing so you used to just have to wait around until they decided they were leaving and when you did that there was a room upstairs at the top on the top floor where the living staff lived and then there was a, a spare room for those of us that did lates and then early so you could go upstairs sleep upstairs and come back down because the early shift started at seven and so when you did the earlies you used to be able to if you wanted to i mean you could uh you could go to the canteen like after your shift but you never really had time before so what we used to do well the cashiers used to do we used to be able to get breakfast in the palm court because that's what they did for the people staying in the hotel they laid out all the breakfast and then you went along the line and picked whatever it was you wanted to eat so I used to do that when I was on an early anyway for a couple of weeks or maybe even longer there was this woman with her son and he was so cute adorable little thing and he loved the palm court stairs down into the middle of the palm court where the food was because it's all marble. And he used to spend all his time like wobbling down the stairs on his belly and then he'd climb back up and then he'd slide back down again. So I got talking to him and his mum most mornings when I was there getting breakfast and we'd chat about this, that and the other. Anyway. We were there one day and uh, she said, oh, it's busy, isn't it? And I said, yes, yeah. so we've got um, the Australian cricket team staying for however many weeks it was that they stayed when they were playing. And um, we got into this big, long conversation about cricket. And I said, yeah, I just don't see the point of it. I've never understood it. It's one of those sports that puts me to sleep completely. And this is from someone who watches snooker. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I was like, no, I can't be doing with it. It's, it, you know, it's boring. Anyway, two days later, I was back on an early and um, saw them again and was playing with the little boy and what have you. And the next minute, this bloke walks towards us and she went, oh, I've been telling my husband about you. She went, this is my husband, Alan. And I'm like, oh, hello, Alan. Nice to meet you. And she went, Alan Border. And I was like, yeah, am I supposed to know? Her? And she went, the Australian cricket team captain. <laughs> if I went purple, honestly, it was like, oh, shit. And uh, she said, yeah, I told him. And he, he just looked at me and went, never mind. I find it boring as well. But it's like, yeah, it's one of those life lessons. Always make sure you know who you're talking to before you start slagging people off. Um, Another story I could tell you about when I was young and gobby. Um. I worked for this company selling life insurance to women and they were on uh, just off Bond Street in London. And me and a friend of mine that worked there went out for our lunch one day and there was this sign at a shop. I can't even remember what the shop was. And it said today um, in the sports area downstairs, uh, Jimmy, the whirlwind, white, God, I nearly forgot his name then. We'll be signing autographs. So I was like, cool, because I love snooker. And um, so we went and grabbed a sandwich and then went back, went all the way down into the basement. And right at the, the back of the shop, at the wall, he was sat there with his manager, I assume, or a friend of his. 
on his own. Not another living soul was there because I was expecting there to be really big long queues for him because he was quite well known, quite popular at the time. And there was nobody there, only me and her. Anyway, so I went up to the table and he handed me this picture of himself that he'd already signed. And I said to him, can you put two jewels on there? And he was like, no, because he was fucked off and in a foul mood because nobody'd gone down to see him. So I was like, right, well, fuck you then. I hope you lose. <laughs> and stumped out of the shop. And I don't think he won much after that. And I've always wondered if I sort of cursed him. But, uh, so that's me and my big mouth. And it's always getting me into trouble. If you know any good crime stories that are already written up that I can contact the people who wrote them and ask their permission to read them, that'd be really good. Or, other than that, if you've got any ideas for any uh, videos you think I should do, um, any ideas would be gratefully accepted. I don't really know what to do, to be fair. The crime isn't really that popular. And I totally understand it because... Um, We've got Bailey Sarian and Emma Kenny and Stephanie Harlow and Derek Lavassa and all those doing what they're doing. And they do it so well that there's no reason to listen to somebody just reading off a book or reading out of a paper. So I totally get that. But I'm, I can't for the life of me think what to do on the other days. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. Anyway, for all of you that bothered <laughs> to listen this far thank you very much for all the support and all the comments i get and if you haven't subscribed and you want to please do or click the like button at least before you go away and leave me alone thank you talk to you soon bye